All right. And um, related to this, again, this is very good that you're the guest because a lot of this happened back in the 70s now. Is, is I've lived down there since 2002, and the, the parks, but Battery Park City, have been pristine. I mean, like the, better than the Botanical Garden. I've never seen any crime or anything, but I'm starting to, I've started to see some residents, some, some homeless residents, make their home in the Battery Park City parks uh, across from the Jewish Heritage Museum and so forth. And we've looked into this. We interviewed the New York City Rescue Mission, and I think it's partly due to city budget downfalls and partly they had to shut one of those shelters and so forth. Is can you talk about what the homeless problem was like back when you were mayor, when the city was almost bankrupt, and, and what we might be seeing going on now? Well, what we don't seem to have today, thank God, uh, which we had uh, when I was uh, mayor, were uh, homeless men and women known as suffering from the shopping bag syndrome. Uh, they pulled carts yeah. and they carried bags of junk and so forth, meaning... A lot to them, mm -hmm. but uh, on an observer point of view, uh, worthless uh, objects. We don't seem to have that uh, anymore. There are, uh, this I get from the newspapers, not from observation, there are families uh, that uh, are placed uh, in shelters uh, for an extended period of time. The there are two... Uh, the churches and the synagogues uh, provide, uh, at least they did when I was mayor and I believe thereafter and probably today as well, uh, special accommodations, particularly for women who mm -hmm. are fearful of going into the shelters. They shouldn't be, I think, uh, but they are. And uh, uh, I arranged in my uh, administration uh, to get more churches, more synagogues uh, to open their facilities and we paid the city, meaning we, uh, heat and uh, uh, we did not provide and the churches and uh, synagogues did uh, the beds and the volunteers uh, to um, provide assistance uh, for these uh, hapless uh, people. I think that still goes on uh, today. But I uh, saw an article recently in one of the papers saying that uh, while we had perhaps 2,000 uh, uh, homeless uh, people uh, crowding into our shelters at one time. Back in 78. Yes. Yeah. There were, uh, for which we couldn't find accommodations on a permanent basis, uh, there are thousands more today. I don't know that to be true. I just saw that in a paper. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, we'll wrap up. You want to talk about contemporary politics with the elections coming want. up? Uh, let's talk about the governor's race. What do you think will happen there regarding Mayor Cuomo Patterson? Uh, well, I believe uh, that uh, uh, if the governor uh, ran today, he'd be uh, defeated, and I think everybody accepts that as a fact. But in politics, anything can change. Uh, it's not like any other uh, profession. And uh, if uh, the governor's numbers don't improve, I think that he will ultimately step out and uh, leave the race to others, and the others uh, probably are... Um, Andrew Cuomo on the Democratic side and perhaps Rudy Giuliani on the uh, Republican side. If such a race were to be held, I believe uh, that Andrew Cuomo would win, and I certainly would be supporting Cuomo over Giuliani. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. What do you think Rudy Giuliani's next steps are other than governor? I suppose he could possibly do the Senate. Well, um, he uh, failed miserably when he ran for president. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that may weigh upon him. Um, you don't like to have several failures following one another. But he does uh, have the support of uh, uh, a significant number of uh, New Yorkers who like him personally uh, and like his brand of politics. Uh, I think he would be defeated by a Democrat, and I think that Democrat, in all probability, would be Andrew Cuomo. Mm -hmm. 